how is it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my youtube channel today we're on roblox studio and i'm going to be showing you how to use a click detector and also how to make it change colors and say clicked whenever you click it in the output so this is printing um so let's just go ahead and get right into it so you're going to want to insert a block into your game insert a click detector into the block and then also insert a script into that block as well. Um, if you, I just have this one named as part, uh, but we'll go ahead and get into that here in a minute. So, if you guys don't know about variables, a variable is basically a, like so. This is a variable here. Local click is equal to script dot parent dot wait for dot colon wait for child click detector. So what this is saying is basically click is equal to all of this code right here. Um, so anytime that I say click, it will essentially be saying that it's going into the wait for this click detector. As soon as it's clicked, that's what click means. So whenever somebody clicks it, whenever their mouse click connects onto it, it's going to activate this function. Um, so essentially, whenever you are activating a function, it is basically saying to do something so it wouldn't even know to change color if you didn't tell it to do something so whenever we're typing in game dot workspace dot part dot brick color equals brick color dot random this is saying that you're reaching in to the game workspace so if we close this up just imagine you're going through this the script so this is a variable so it doesn't actually do anything so it's just acknowledging that click is equal to all of this code that way we don't have to type it out every time and then it goes into the next line there's nothing there so the next line is waiting for a player to click it so still nothing happens but then it is going into the workspace and it's saying to change the brick color into a random brick color so it's essentially saying to go into the workspace come down here and look for part because you see that this is the next thing is named part so that's why I said if you renamed this anything else, so let's go ahead and rename this. We'll just rename this Bob. And I'll go ahead and show you whenever we play the game, it's not going to work because you says part is not a valid member of workspace no matter how many times you click it. So what this is doing whenever we actually change this to Bob, this is saying that the game workspace, it's looking through the game workspace, it looks for Bob. And it's going to tell it to change its brick color. So that's an appearance. So it's changing it to a random color. So the game is essentially thinking, okay, well, we'll go through and we can change it to a random color. Um, so let's go ahead and run it here through now. And we'll go ahead and click it. And now you see it changes to a random color. So hopefully you guys understand this video. I try to make it as educational as possible, I guess you could say. And also, whenever it says print, clicked. Um, that is in the bottom of the output. So print, you could make this say anything. So we could make this say subscribe for more. And when we play, it will say subscribe for more in our output. Now this is useful for whenever you are looking for bugs later on. I'll be explaining that in another video. Um, so hopefully, yeah, this video helped you. I'll be leaving this code in the description. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.